Welcome, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to have a look today at a brand new AI that uh, I was made aware of today called Brisk AI. So it's a Chrome web extension and you add it through here. Now currently at the moment it is free. Um, their aim apparently looks like to get a school or a district to sign up so you can have access to all the premium tools that they have here. But in today's quick tutorial, I'll show you how it can actually help, you know, speed up the process when we're looking at reviewing or grading work. So as I said, grading work. So we, we would be looking at primarily looking at a rubric that you would have that you would have downloaded at some point and looking at a student's assignment. So here's one that I've just grabbed from a PDF that a student had submitted. It's unformatted because it's just come straight from a PDF. So nothing to worry too much about that. It's a Chrome web extension, so it sits up here. And then when it's running, it actually sits down here in the bottom right of your screen. So I'm going to click on this and I want to provide some feedback to the student with regards to this. So I can click on give feedback. So I'll just come back here. Um, so give feedback and I click on rubric criteria. Now, if it's the first time that you come in through here, it will look like this. Select standards or upload rubric. So if you select, select upload rubrics, this is very US based or is US based. So we're not going to do that. So we'll go back uh, here in Queensland. We actually have our own rubrics that are supplied by the QCAA. So I select the year nine, open that up, right? That uploads it then. So this is in a PDF doc. It could be in a doc you know, format as well. Uh, I want it in the feedback to be in Australian English. You've got your choice of different languages there as well. And most importantly is what year level. So this is year nine. And then what I can do is I can get it to select, uh, as we said, rubric uh, criteria, and we click on brisket. And what it will do, it will provide feedback based on the criteria from this particular rubric here. So knowledge and understanding, questioning and researching and interpreting and analyzing. So coming back there, we can start to see some of this information coming through. And we can cherry pick what we like and what we don't like out of individual parts. So that could give you some of that quick feedback they're looking at. But like with all AI, we shouldn't just be boldly going in there and believing what it's coming up with. Always read with what they've got and compare it with what the student has done. So that's one option there. The other option is they've got, and this is their, their premium part, and this is where they're trying to you know, get the schools to you know, sign up so, the, so they can charge there. So if we go through here, and we go into targeted, and this is quite good. Again, English, Australian, just check your uh, correct language, correct year level. The rubric's already been uploaded, and we brisk it. And this is targeted feedback. So what it will do, it will start to look at the rubric and start looking at what has been written and highlight those sections and make comments on those parts that need that feedback. And based on the particular criteria. This should, right, if it's working well, really speed up your workflow with marking. But again, as I said, the caveat with this is always check the work or the output that these AIs are submitting so you can you know, make sure that what you're putting your name to is correct. And there we've got it there. We can click on stop generating. So because these are all in uh, comments within the Google Doc, you can edit these and remove certain parts that you don't think are relevant. So if we want to get rid of this, and then we click out there, and then we can click on as a comment there for the student. So they're highly editable, and that's the point about it. It's The AI should not be the be or end all tool with this. Uh, have a bit of a play. 
love to know what you think. Uh, let me know down in the comments.